Hello everybody, Josh Klug here, and today we're going to be talking about setting up and configuring Cake PHP with your WAMP server. Cake PHP is an MVC framework designed for PHP. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and point your browser to cakephp.org. From there, you go ahead and just click on download and download Cake. Now, one of the beauties of Cake PHP is its extreme simplicity in installation. For the main part, all you're going to do is open Cake PHP and extract all the files to your HTTP or in the case of a WAMP server, your www folder. Once that's complete, you'll see that we have inside our www folder, we have our cake PHP folder. And you can go ahead and rename that to whatever you like. We're going to call this one cake example. Now, if we were to go ahead and go right to our local host at this point, we can see there's cake example. Okay, and there's cake. So we can see now that cake is, for the most part, installed. But you can see we do have some errors. And we'll go ahead and take care of those errors right now. All right, so the second part of this tutorial is all about configuring Cake. Uh, for the most part, we have Cake installed, and it will work as it is, but not for database. As we can see right over here, it says the database is not configured. And uh, you can see here that URL rewriting re re is not configured. And of course, then we have security salts that are not uh, working as well. So let's go ahead and start at the very beginning and take care of our security salts. The first thing you'll need to do to take care of your security salts is go ahead and open inside your cake folder. You want to open your app, config, core.php and there's a lot of stuff in here but where we're looking for specifically is all the way down on line 197 and 19 and 202 is what you can do with this is we're just going to configure an SHA one hash so you can go to a site just just like this type in anything random letters numbers characters whatever you want hash it out copy this hash here and just go ahead and paste it in place of this. Now as far as the cipher key cipher seed is concerned, go ahead and highlight it and any random numbers. This one has to be numbers. Go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and refresh cake. There we go. One error down. The next error we see here is the URL re rewriting is not properly configured. Now, for WAMP, that has to do with Apache. By default, the module that's required is not enabled. So with WAMP, it's very easy. You click on the WAMP icon, click Apache, Apache Modules, and scroll down until you see Rewrite Module. Go ahead and click that once. The Apache server will restart. Once it's green, refresh your page. And there we go. This is how it's supposed to look. See, now that, that the re rewriting is, is available, you can see we have all the styling is involved. So we have the colors, we have the fonts, and this is how it's supposed to look. Now, if you first load it up and you have a view like this, that means your mod rewrite is on and you don't have to do anything. So let's go ahead next and look at our next error. And it says the database configuration file is not present and we have to go in there and fix that. So let's go ahead and go back to our editor. The first thing we're, yeah, we're, so let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Let's go in our cake example folder, then we're gonna go to app, config, and you see we have database.php.default. Let's go ahead and rename that from database.php.default to database.php. Yes, we wanna change that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll open it in our 
our editor. Now where we're looking here is basically we're going to scroll down here and we're going to look at this set of text right here. Now the database that we're going to work with here, uh, of course it's on localhost and by default with most, you want to set that to root or whatever your login name is. I know most passwords default to root. In the case of my, I have no password. And the database that we're going to work with is Roller Coaster Database. We'll go ahead and save that. Refresh our page. And now those errors are gone. Now as far as the debug kit, that's not going to be anything that's extremely necessary for this. So now that that's all out of the view, out of the way, let's go ahead and edit our home page here so we can have our Hello World app. So is what you'll see right here says to change the content of this page, just go ahead and edit the home.ctp. CTP stands for cake template file uh, or cake, it's just a cake template files. So we can go ahead and edit that. Let's go ahead back into our editor. We're going to go File, Open, we're going to go under View, Pages, and then we'll open Home. And as you can see inside we have PHP and we have HTML, and it's pretty simple that we can go ahead and edit all this if we needed to. We can just go right in, in here at the top and say hello world we'll save it refresh and hello world has now been added to the top so essentially what we just saw is the easiest way to install and configure CakePHP. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Thank you very much for watching.